Kentucky is a beautiful state where many areas titter between modern and old world feel. This atmosphere makes the bluegrass state the perfect setting for some of the strangest urban legends you'll ever hear. Perhaps you've heard of the hillbilly beast, or maybe the hot rod haven ghost, or even any other popular urban legends of Kentucky. But whether you believe them or not, they are an intriguing piece of local culture. And today we will look at 10 of the many urban legends the Bluegrass State has to offer. The Witch's Tree is a gnarled, twisted tree in Louisville, Kentucky, with a spooky connection to the storm demon, a tornado responsible for destroying most of the town and killing over 100 people in the late 1800s. The tree was not always so twisted and gnarled. According to legends, it was once a beautiful maple tree sitting on the corner of 6th Street and Park Avenue and it was also the gathering places for witches and voodoo practitioners. In 1889, the city announced it would be cutting down the tree to use it as a maypole for their annual May Day celebration. Despite warnings from the witches, the city felled the tree anyway. As revenge, the coven brewed up a tornado that ended up destroying most of Louisville, killing over a hundred people, including planning committee members. As the twister roared through town, a bolt of lightning struck the maple stump and a knotted tree sprang up to replace the old one. Today, visitors of the tree leave offerings for the witches like horseshoes, skeleton keys, crucifixes, and candles, but most often they will leave colorful beads. It is said that the higher up in the branches you throw them, the better luck you will have, but if you steal any of the offerings from the tree, you will be cursed. The old Nelson County Jail property housed prisoners from 1797 until 1987. The front building was constructed in 1819 with upper floors containing two cells and an upstairs dungeon where they housed the prisoners. The back jail was built in 1874 and is completely surrounded by a stone wall. At this time, the front building was then turned into the jailer's residence. Both buildings were occupied until 1987. It was the oldest operating jail complex in the state of Kentucky and is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. At one time, the buildings housed some of the most violent offenders. Strange, unexplainable events have occurred all throughout history here and around the structure where prisoners served, fought for survival, died, and were murdered. Today, it has been transformed into a bed and breakfast and is reported to contain a large number of spirits that haunt every corner of the property. The most famous spirit is of Miss McKay, who is believed to be one of the original jailers. Her husband started as the jailer of the facility, but died. Miss McKay then ran for the position and won because the community members knew her well and they respected her professional abilities to run the jail. She is considered to be a friendly spirit that will sometimes watch people while they sleep. The location of the courtyard is where many men lost their lives from hanging. One report claims that a guest was having a full-blown conversation with what he believed to be a live person. During the conversation, he turned his head away for a brief moment. When he turned back around to continue the conversation, the man had disappeared. Other reports include the feeling of presence of people close by when no one is around, the feelings of being watched, phantom footsteps in the corridors, and doors slamming by themselves. Iroquois Park was built by Frederick Law Olmsted as a scenic reservation of forested hillsides and breathtaking vistas. But what most visitors don't realize is after dark, the beautiful park reveals its darker side. 
According to legends, as you hike the park's winding trails, there will suddenly be a sound of a dog barking wildly. Then a thick fog will roll in from nowhere. It is then you will start to smell the smoke and fire rising through the air. When the fog breaks momentarily, you will see a figure approaching. The woman is dressed in early 1800s clothing, and as she draws closer, you will see her holding her head in her hands as blood drips from her severed neck. The headless woman is most often seen close to Lookout Point. According to legend, she was a farmer's wife who settled in the area where the park is today with her husband. One night when her husband was away on business, natives attacked the homestead. First, they silenced the dog by slitting its throat. They then rushed into the house, grabbed the screaming woman and beheaded her. The natives then set fire to the house to cover it up. There have also been several murders that have taken place here over the last several years. Serial killer Biore Simmons was convicted of three counts of murder and rape and four counts of kidnapping in the early 1980s. According to reports, he dumped the bodies in Iroquois Park. Michael Holloway kidnapped Stacy Fowlers at gunpoint on June 30, 2001. He drove around with her in the trunk of his car before finally taking her to the park where he shot and robbed her. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison in December of 2002. So remember, when out searching for legends, be careful. It is not always what you may run into, but who. Sleepy Hollow Road, located near the eastern edge of the border between Jefferson and Oldham counties in Kentucky, is a solitary, dark, foreboding place where even some of the most adventurous people have been scared off. There are several legends attached to this eerie road. One is of a black hearse that appears out of nowhere and will follow you, increasing its speed, causing drivers to run off the road into a 30-foot ravine that runs along Sleepy Hollow Road. There is also a crybaby bridge along the road. Once a cover bridge, it is now a steel and concrete bridge. According to legends, settlement women would come here to discard their unwanted or sickly children in the water below. It is said that on a clear full moon night, if you stand on the side of the bridge, the sounds of cries and screams of the children can be heard. Another lesser known legend of Sleepy Hollow Road is of Devil's Point which is rumored to be an area on the road where satanic rituals were held. Many residents of the area have reported hearing chanting and screaming coming from nearby. Some have reported seeing unexplainable bonfires and seeing dark robed figures. There have also been many reports of drivers going through what they describe as time warps. For example, someone driving into the hollow at 11 p.m will find themselves leaving the stretch of road several hours later. Pilot's Knob Cemetery is located in Marion, Kentucky and is most known for the haunting of a little girl. According to legends, Mary Evelyn Ford and her mother, Mary Rebecca Ford, were burned at the stake for witchcraft. Both mother and daughter were buried in separate places. Terrified the little girl would come back for revenge, she was buried in a grave lined with steel and a casket covered with concrete and gravel. Around her grave is a white metal fence with interconnecting crosses placed there for added protection. Legends say that Mary Evelyn will appear as a normal five-year-old girl in a white dress but her white dress and ends of her hair are scorched. She is reported to sleep during the day, but come nighttime, she will make her presence known. According to legends, if you stand too close to her grave, she will reach out and grab you 
pulling her into the grave, which is said to give her more strength. She has also been known to make faces at people to lure them closer so she can grab them. Many believe she cannot cross the fence of crosses, but Mary Evelyn is looking for her mother. Legends also say that if you lie on her grave, she will hold you down and only someone from the outside can pull you out. If you dare try this on your own, you will be sucked into her grave. Another haunting connected to the little witch girl is of a malevolent spirit called the Watcher. According to legends, it is a spirit of a man who came to the cemetery to hurt the little girl, but was murdered at a nearby swinging bridge. According to reports, the Watcher is around when you get an overwhelming feeling of being watched, along with a feeling of fear and goosebumps. Others have also reported to hear voices and loud footsteps coming up from behind. Known as the Gateway to the Red River Gorge, not a tunnel in Ellesmere, Kentucky, is a historic 900-foot tunnel that appears to be almost hidden from view. The Nada Tunnel construction began in 1910 and was completed in 1911. The original purpose was to transport timber from logging in the gorge to Clay City Sawmill by train. During the construction, one man died while trying to thaw out frozen dynamite next to the fire. There are also a few other legends here. One says that a rock climber fell to his death while climbing the tunnel entrance. Both the death of the construction worker and the climber are attributed to the legend that at night, an eerie green orb can be seen floating at the entrance of the tunnel. Another legend tied to the Nada Tunnel says that a man hung himself from a hook above the tunnel entrance. It has been reported that his apparition can be seen hanging from the hook and sometimes walking the tunnel. Other reports include disembodied voices and screams coming from inside the tunnel. Hot Rod Haven is a stretch of Mitchell Hill Road that between the 1940s and the 1970s was a popular spot for teenagers to race their cars. Unfortunately, many didn't come back from the road alive. Mitchell Hill Road is a winding, twisting road that has reportedly claimed more than 25 lives. A legend has emerged from one such tragedy. According to legends, on September 23, 1950, a young couple was on their way to a school dance when they crashed at the bottom of the hill. Both were killed and buried side by side at the cemetery at the top of the road. Legends say that a young woman can be seen wandering the road and the cemetery. Over the years, the girl has been called either Sarah or Mary, and the young man's name had been forgotten until recently. American Ghost Society investigator Keith Age decided to look into the accident to see if there may be some truth to the legend. Sure enough, while searching records, he found that a tragic accident almost identical to the legends had in fact happened. Ray Clark and Sarah Mitchell were on their way to a school dance. As they were coming down the hill, Clark lost control of the car crashing at the curb. Both were pronounced dead at the scene. The accident happened on September 23, 1946. The young couple is buried at the cemetery on Mitchell Hill Road. One single stone marks both graves. In loving memory, September 23, 1946. According to legends, there is a Bigfoot-like creature that roams the back hills of eastern Kentucky near the Ohio River. Many sightings of this creature go back over 200 years, all in the same area. Described as standing 8 to 10 feet tall, weighing about 800 pounds, the beast is dark in appearance with hair covering its whole body. The face is said to look incredibly human with intelligent-looking eyes. 
Witnesses claim that the eyes appear almost black in the daylight, but at night they glow an eerie yellow color. The hillbilly beast can be very vocal at times. It is known for its territorial howl that is quite blaring. Those who have heard it say the hair raises up on their arms. People who have found themselves close to the creature report it hearing low, guttural, and breathy grunting sounds. The Pope Lick Monster is part man, part goat creature that is reported to live under the Norfolk Southern Railroad trestle over Floyd's Creek near Louisville, Kentucky. The creature is sometimes reported as a part man, part sheep. The creature is reported to be a human goat hybrid or sheep hybrid with a deformed body of a man. It has powerful fur covered goat or sheep legs, alabaster skin face and wide set eyes. Short sharp horns also protrude from its head with long greasy hair that matches the fur on its legs. There are several stories of its origins. The most popular says it is a goat man that was a circus freak who vowed revenge after being mistreated. One story says the beast escaped after a train derailed on the trestle, which links the Pope Lick monster to the ghost train legend there. Another version says the monster is a twisted reincarnation of a farmer who sacrificed goats in exchange for satanic powers. There are also several legends about the beast's method of claiming its victims. One says it uses hypnosis or voice mimicry to lure trespassers to the trestle to die by oncoming trains. Other stories claim the monster jumps down from the trestle onto the roof of passing cars. Another legend says that it attacks victims with a blood-stained axe. It has also been said that the very sight of the beast is so unsettling that if seen while walking on the trestle, you will be driven to leap off to your death. In Erlanger, Kentucky is a residential road that has its very own spooky ghost story. Narrows Road is actually a narrow winding road that weaves in and out of forest and new subdivisions. According to legends, there have been many reports of people driving down this road late at night and being pulled over by a 1950s style police car that appeared out of nowhere. It is said that when you look into your rear view mirror, you will see the police officer approaching your car. Then, as quickly as he appeared, he disappears. Legends say that Narrows Road was the site of a police car crash in the 1950s.